Today, we are going to look at how particles are arranged in solids, liquids and gases. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to name the three states of matter and to be able to compare the arrangement of the particles in the solids, liquids and gases. In this topic, we will use the term particles instead of atoms, molecules and ions. We will refer to all of them simply as particles. The three states of matter we know are solids, liquids and gases. If we look at the solid, we can see that it has a fixed shape and a volume. If we look at the liquid, we can notice that it takes the shape of the container it is in and has a fixed volume. And the gas, it expands to fill the full container. Solids have a fixed shape and volume and cannot flow because their particles cannot move from place to place. They can only vibrate in their position. Solids cannot be compressed because their particles have fixed position and are packed in a regular pattern and there is almost no space between them, as you can see in these two pictures. The particles have very low energy, but the, po the forces between them are very strong. Those are called attractive forces. And in solids, these forces are very strong. But what happens when we hit a solid? When we hit a solid, we add energy to the particles and they start vibrating so fast that overcomes the forces between them. So they start moving freely close to each other, turning into a liquid. So if we want to melt a solid, we need to heat it and the thermal energy will work against the forces that hold these particles together. When these forces are overcome, the particles are separated and move their position. We're going to look next at liquids. Liquids have the shape of your container, as you can see, the bottle of Coke or the can, and can flow because their particles can move around each other. However, they're still connected. Liquids cannot be compressed because the particles are not far from each other, so they have no space to move into. The particles of liquids have slightly higher energy than the solid particles, but they have weaker forces than the forces between the solid particles. So what happens when we hit a liquid? When we are heating a liquid, we add energy to the particles and they start vibrating so fast that overcomes the forces between them. So they start moving freely away from each other, turning into a gas. During heating, we add thermal energy to the particles and that turns into kinetic energy. So at one point, they start vibrating vigorously and then they escape in form of a gas. Gases. Gases are very different to the solids and liquids because they completely filled up the container as their particles can move in all directions. They can be compressed because the particles are very far apart and there is a lot of space between them. The particles of gases have very high energy, but there are no forces between them, unlike the liquids and the solids. So now I want you to complete the questions one to six in your booklet. And if you fill, 
creative, you can make your own models of solids, liquids and gases at home.